Hey guys, welcome to the Jen Lowry Writes channel. I just want to thank you guys for joining me today. And if you've read the comments in the description, you know what we're talking about. It's newsletters and email list. And I really want to be transparent here and say, guys, learn from my mistakes. <laughs> so I'm going to show you some pretty awful looking newsletters that I sent in the past. And hopefully you'll be able to um, get some takeaways from this. So something about me is that I love to share. I'm going to show you, you know, what I've used in the past. You might actually like it better and might say, hey, this is the direction that I want to go with my newsletters. I'm going to tell you always research and connect with people, contact, find out what they're using, ask around in your different writing groups and creative artist groups that you have. Because the bottom line is that you need a website, you need a landing page. Okay, we've already talked about that. And so this is really the next steps. You need an email newsletter, you need an email populated place where you can capture people's emails and that can help you with your long-term engagement and so i don't care what it is whether you are an author an artist an illustrator a gamer you have a platform you have a business it's not just necessarily somebody that is there that is going to sell us makeup or it's going to sell us face products or new clothing line you need it too but even Anybody that's out there that's trying to establish themselves as an incredible platform, you do need to have a website, that landing page, but you also need to be connecting with people when they go there. Okay. And so I'm not going to get all into the ins and outs of, you know, the different website platforms to use because I've done that one already. You can watch that video. Um, it's banked on my channel, but I can tell you that you need to investigate how to add in pop-ups to your um, pages. Once I did that, y'all, I don't know why I didn't do it before, really. And I did this website critique with my WWJs, my writing group. And I was like researching tons of different authors and looking at their sites. And I was seeing all these subscribe now pop-ups. And once I would get to their site, it would just be right there in my face with this big old empty box where they want my email address. And I would be like signing up, signing up. And I oftentimes do sign up because like, for example, I signed up for Jill Sanders. Um, I've seen her on LinkedIn. I'm like, you know what? I'd like to see how she's running the behind the scenes of her author life. So I signed up. I've signed up for Karen Kingsbury. I sign up to a lot of people's newsletters. One, I like to learn, but I'm also signing up for research and I get to see how other authors are running their platforms too. And I'm always interested in that. I'm always in that state of learning. So I say, if you have not signed up for newsletters, that's something that you could do as a really great starting point. A year from now, if you know you keep saying, wait, this person is sending me an email letter every single day. I do not want them in my inbox anymore. You can unsubscribe. But usually newsletter list, they're going out once, twice, three times a month. I do know that there are people that do that four times a month, like just like a weekly what's up newsletter. You know, that's up to you how you want to run your schedule. I try not to send out more than three newsletters a month. Sometimes I'll send out two, one at the beginning of the month, one at the middle of the month. So it's just according to what I've got going on. And I want to share with you some of the different newsletter templates that I have used. And go ahead. You can say ha 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 in the chat because I don't know what I was thinking. I'm also going to show you the pop up because I didn't have it before. So I really encourage you right now to put that down on your list to make sure that you have a way to generate a list and to populate a list. So I'm going to share my screen now. So if you come in and start chatting with me while I have my screen on, then I'm not going to be able to see. This is my first cup of coffee today, guys. I will I'll tell you. <sighs> okay. 
All right. Here we go. I'm going to show you what a pop-up is. And when you hit my website, this is my pop-up. I'm so blessed you're here. Welcome to my official author website. Make sure you subscribe to receive my monthly newsletter, enter into giveaways, and more. I can't wait to connect. Now, there are many pop-ups that want you to subscribe right there with that empty box. I would rather welcome my people first, let them know here in this white space that's like the contrast of colors is going to get really busy when it gets on my website. So I like this little clean pop up right here where people will be able to say, oh, if I sign up, this is what I can get. Now, you see, I write you can receive my monthly newsletter. That makes it sound as if I'm only going to send one. But the ones that are the giveaways, I do separate ones for that. Like I will send one that says just last month, I was like, you know, if you want to enter into the raffle to get one of my audiobook codes, you know, just send me a quick email. And I think it was put um, AB in the subject line. That's all you have to put in the subject line, like audiobooks. I think that's how I ran that raffle. That way, when all of my subscribers started sending these massive emails, I could go into the search box and type AB for the subject and then all of them populated and then I could do a random raffle. So I want to just let you guys know that, you know, I do giveaways throughout the month and then I added in more because for me, I want to be open to what I can do. I don't want to like say, I'm going to give you this five steps to financial freedom, you know, checklist when that's not what my page is about. I'm not about, you know, coaching people into the financial freedom. And there could be people that have found me for different reasons. So I don't want to say that I'm going to, you can get this free um, PDF guide which I love it when people do that. And I download their PDFs, guys. I download them. I love to look at them. I loved one today that I downloaded because um, I was watching her YouTube and she was great. And I've been watching her videos for like over the past week. And once I clicked into it, it she even says, I used Canva size A4 to create this file. And I was like, yes, I love that because you're telling the secrets and that's what we need to do when we're out there sharing. She had a really great presentation and a great style. So she had a pop-up like this, but it was a pop-up with a picture that showed the giveaway that is what she's going to give to her people, you know, that's something that you can think of doing. To me, I said, and more which some people might say, no, Jennifer, you need to be more specific. And if that's the case, then over time, I'll think this through. But right, right now, I don't know if it's somebody from the podcast that's found me, somebody from a webinar that's found me, somebody from Twitch, somebody from Facebook. I don't know where they're hearing jenlowrywrites.com. It might not even be a reader. So if I'm sending them something that they really don't want, then I'm like, OK, that was a wasted click because they didn't really care for that and I could turn them away. So I really don't know. Are they there for author work or are they there for my books? So that's why I kind of said and more. And so when you hit learn more, do you see where that subscribe today comes up? And that's where people can just type in the email, hit sign up today and then they can scroll up and down my website, my main page. I've added new products are coming soon just to force myself into this space because my website is going to start. Um, I've got an e-commerce site now, thanks to GoDaddy. Okay, so I wanted just to share with you guys first um, what the pop-up was and why you need one. And you can go look at a lot of different ones. Now I want to show you I use GoDaddy, so I have the marketing and I have the subscribers. Now, I'm not going to show you my subscriber list because no way. The people that subscribe to me 
are my special people and I have a security reason for not showing my emails to anyone because they have trusted me with their emails and it's strictly to be used for my communication with them. So I went in and I clean up my subscribers. Do you see where it says zero? Trust me, I have a lot more than zero. And I want to tell you what I do. And you guys are going to probably say, why, Jen? Why do you do this? is just my way. You can drop in the comments how you do it. I know that there are people that buy MailChimp. Okay. I understand. MailChimp is one that people use. And it's not just MailChimp. You can actually go online and you can find other email marketing companies that have comparative plans. So it says, you know, you, we've got your back and you're free.com. You can sign up for free. Okay. And just, you can go and look at their plans. Okay. You've got to have an email. You've got to have a... P.O. Box for MailChimp. This is what was when I did it. Now, I could be wrong. They might have updated the site. You could tell me. You could say, no, that's incorrect. You're not given the right information. But the last time I tried, you needed to put your address on there. And I'm sorry, I did not really want that. And I'm not going to go spend the money right now for a P.O. Box. I'm not that big yet. When I need a P.O. Box, I will get one. So here's how I'm running my marketing. Okay. I am taking my subscribers. I have had 10 new subscribers for this week. I'm so thankful that I put the pop up there because I'm getting like 3,000 hits a month on my website. And so out of those 3,000, I did not give anybody to subscribe to me. I, I didn't do that in the past. And so I was losing opportunities to continue to connect with people. So I felt kind of bad that I did not take that extra step to hit a button. So even within the past, you know, what, 11 days past, I've had 10 new subscribers to my um, marketing list here in my GoDaddy website. So what I do is it populates down and it gives me their email addresses and I copy them. And I'm not going to show you my Google Sheet, but I am going to let you know that I have a Google Sheet that I take their email addresses and I place them in there. And I keep them all the way down the line from the first emails that I received all the way down to these last 10 that I'm adding to my list. And I just continue to populate that list. And so when I go in to Wix shout out, let's just say I'm gonna show you one, okay? I'm gonna do special template. I'm just gonna show you something. So do you see um, where it says add recipients? I can come in here and I can click and I can add people manually. Okay. I can also integrate them in there. I can import them in there. And so you can add them into Wix shout out. Um, I love Wix shout out and I'm going to talk to you through some reasons why this is what I use to actually send out my email marketing campaign. And I am going to upgrade when I reach my, I think it's like, don't quote me on this guys. It might be like a 5,000 limit or something like that of how many I can send out. And you can send out more than three a month on the free plan. But as of right now, I've got a pretty healthy email subscriber list for me. I'm very pleased with it. And I know that with the pop-up now, I'm sure it's going to continue to grow. Um, and so I would really encourage you to do that pop-up. Um, it was really easy, too, for me to add the pop-up. I was like, why? You know, like, why didn't I do it? Um, so. A part of the pop-ups is that you do need to tell people what they're signing up for. So that way they can be aware that they're going to receive something from you. And then you just stay true to that. And so I know that if, if I'm really busy and I have a crazy, hectic teaching month and I've got a lot of things going on, it look, in 30 days, I know I can produce one newsletter. I know I can. I love to schedule my newsletters out. 
I love to know that, you know, I can go ahead and create some and I can build it as I go. So I do want to share with you. I know I told you about Wix shout out. But I want to share with you, the I think, the mistakes I made. OK, I just think it. I just I don't know. I'm going to share. You can tell me what you think. You might actually like it. I don't know. One, I got an email one time from my dear friend and she was like, you sent us like a magazine. <laughs> this was not a newsletter. You might as well say Jen's monthly magazine. And that's when it hit me. I'm probably doing this wrong. Newsletters kind of need to be like a blog post. They need to be short, to the point. They need to be enticing. They don't need to be a blessed book. And I was like, man, I got to change. I got to change. Okay. The first newsletter I ever sent out, I was extremely happy about it. And I don't like it. I made the banners on Canva. You guys know how much I love Canva. So look at this with all these little arrows okay this is when sweet but this tells you how long ago i sent this newsletter out because sweet potato was in my publishing and i'm traditionally published and so the first round was going to be like a possible september 10th 2019 release date now it's august the 18th 2020 it still went through additional rounds of edits so you can see, I'm like, I'll oh, find it on Goodreads. You're able to click here and you're able to go out into the world and see my Goodreads, you know, see her there and be able to put her as Mark to read. So I loved it that it had these active links. But then look how it cuts off the page. So I made this in GoDaddy. Um, they had an opportunity to click newsletters and send them to all your subscribers. So that's what I was going to do at the very beginning. But then I didn't like the way that it was set up after I looked at it. It just seems like, um, nah, go here, go there. I added um, a poem that I wrote with my kids when we went down walking downtown Raleigh to the museum. And this is a true story. And it was on the corner of Jones Street in Raleigh. And so as soon as I saw Jones, I was like, oh, sweet potato. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm always thinking books. And as soon as I got home, I wrote this um, to honor that experience. And then, you know, I've got this down here that says I'm here online, but you can't click anything. You see, like there's there's no hyperlink there. And then when you come down here, you can. So that was just a weird kind of picture right here that I probably shouldn't have even put in there. And then that's it. So this was a GoDaddy email marketing campaign. All right. And I sent it out and I was really excited that I got my first newsletter out in the world. Well, then I moved over the next month. And I was like, or the next time I sent the newsletter out, I was like, I'm going to use Canva. And so when you go to your Canva, please get a Canva. That's, that's all I can say to you. You can type in newsletter and you can get beautiful templates that are very easy for you to be able to move around and play around with and put your own style to it. So I'm just for the sake of just showing you, you know, when you click on this, you have this one, you can do this page, you can go to this one, that's page one, that's page two. Then all you have to do is click on this and just put in your new pictures and go to town with it, you know. And so that's what I did. I went to Canva and I decided I'm using Canva for every single thing else in the world. I'm sure I can make it to where everything is matching up better and it's not as disjointed on the page. And so now I'm going to show you my actual Canva newsletters from 2019. So I'm making it really big now. So you can see I'm starting to add to my collection here. This was on November 9th, 2019. So here, um, I'm going to have this 
So that's my favorite Bible verse in the world. These are all of my contacts. I could have just put a link tree there, guys. Like I'm learning. I made sure people would see, wait, this one's an audio book. So now the next page, I am excited to talk about all of my books. At that point, I have another book in audio. I have a magical Christmas wedding since then. But I didn't know when it was actually going to be finished and approved. And so the three books that I could talk about and, and celebrate were these three books. And if you want one, my first seven email responses would receive an audio book code. And so that's a way that I can help share my work with people by giving them audible book codes, which I love to do. OK, and I do that for uh, my raffles. And so then I made them a um, happy Thanksgiving with a Bible verse. And then I talked about why audiobooks are important to me and what inspired me to move in that direction. And it's because of my special education background. That's what my undergraduate and my master's degree is in. I have taught for this is going to be my 21st year going into schools. And the majority of my career has been working with students with special needs and providing them with access matters to me so much. And so I like to tell that out there into the world and my librarians, they love audiobooks. They listen to them all the time. And so even though I wasn't an audiobook listener prior to getting my books out there, I liked paperback books. Now I'm, I'm really getting into this whole Kindle thing. I really love my Kindle and my Libby Reader, my app. And I still will navigate to paperback too. But now I'm actually listening to more audio than ever before. So um, I like that it's an option. So you can see. I'm talking about how I interviewed KD Camillo at that time, and I'm sharing that out. Um, my boyfriend's back, hit number three. So I'm like, whoop, whoop, you know, and it was in clean and wholesome fiction for teens, a great category for me. So I had a YouTube video and a Facebook Live, and I was celebrating. And so I'm telling people how they can leave this page and go out and find me somewhere else. And I think that that is really important when you are working a newsletter. You do want to share news, but you also want to make a way for them to be able to find you. And so here is the behind the scenes of Crawl Scenes, which is, oh, I absolutely love my series, the Light Bearer series. And so, of course, I go through kind of the behind the scenes of crawl scenes. And then where I'm going to be for that next couple of months. And so I put that I'm representing Dog Good Books today. It's my favorite bookstore. Um, I was going to be at a coffee shop doing some signings. And so that was my December and my January where I'll be if you want to find me there, which I also do lives so people can see me online if they can't make it to the store. So I have all these news coming up and then there's me and there's my sweet boys. Things I love in no particular order. Eel, sushi, music, hiking, mountains, Maxton, World's Inlet, bookstore smells, spread birds, butterflies. And so I'm still telling a little bit more about me. Here's other books by me. You can pre-order crawl scenes then. And then I thank people for celebrating. And that's where they could let me know if they want to be added to the mailing list. Y'all, that is long. You see how long that mess was? Like, Canva, I love you. And, and you were available for me. But I didn't need it to be that long. <laughs> that, a lot of that stuff is already on the website. And so there I go. Now that I can reflect. I don't need to put every single thing that's on my website there. A newsletter, I love why it's called Wix Shout Out. A newsletter needs to be kind of like a shout out, like what you're up to, what you're doing. Okay. And you can see that I have another book. One, this is when a magical Christmas wedding came out. These are my parents. 
one of my favorite pictures of my mom. And the book, A Magical Christmas Wedding, is like a Hallmarky type book. Um, and it's in honor of my mom's love of Hallmark. Um, and it's to honor my parents' marriage for 52 years. And so I use them as my writing inspirations and chose 1955 when she travels back in time. I also talk about the music behind my books. I love music, guys. Um, and so 1980s music is, you know, completely into the library series. Um, she's constantly singing. And this is more about Bridges. And then meet the characters of A Magical Christmas Wedding. And Janice is named after my aunt. Shelby's my great aunt. Bill is my dad's name. June is named in honor of my dad and my granny's birthday month. And it's my birthday month this month, too. Jolly is my angel bulldog, Rambo, because he brought me so much joy. Um, Jordan McLaughlin. Now, listen, that he's named after my best friend all growing up. Um, Mackenzie is the name that my mom wanted me to name a daughter. If I ever could have a daughter, I had um, two boys instead. But um, Mackenzie, that's why I named her Mackenzie. And so I tell all of that like in my YouTube lives. And oh, that's when I'm at a new two new festivals last year. You can find me there. Things I love. Other books by me. Kind of same thing. Pre-order crossings. Thank you for celebrating. And there is my book because <laughs> it was like a book, guys. But I did do the inspirations. However, the inspiration pieces for me, oh, I, I didn't mean to get on that one. The inspirations go to my Facebook lives. I do those during launches. So in my opinion, I shouldn't have had all of those inspirations there. I should have just said, go sign up for my Facebook live event. Follow me there so that way you can get notified when I'm going live and you can hear the inspirations of the launch party because I do that. I make videos every time I have a launch party and I just sit with my Aunt Dot on the other side of the screen and I talk about the the love of the book, where the characters, where the setting, where all of that and how it means so much to me. So I didn't need to do all of that. So reflecting again, not only was it too long, but I was already doing those things in the lies. So if people read all that stuff in my newsletter, what would be the point of them really coming to the lives? So do you see? You see how I wasn't really thinking that through? And as you noticed, these jokers were pages long. Like, let me see how long they were. 12 pages long. And even I can come over here and I can hit make a copy and I can change up things. When you're making a newsletter that is 12 pages long, no wonder I really wasn't producing them, uh, you know, more than one time a month. It's just because they took too long for me to do. And so I would really encourage you guys to think about short and sweet and to the point. Go ahead and think of clear content. Have a purpose for that newsletter and then also make it, you know, available to where people can leave that newsletter and go find you somewhere else. So I want to show you guys what it looks like when I used a Wix shout out. So think about this one. OK, so here I am. I'm downloading. I'm doing a print PDF. Right. And if I hit this download button, it's going on down there. When it gets on down there, I'm going to have to send it as an email attachment. That means I'm not going to know what my click rate is. I'm not going to know what my percentages are. And I really need to know if I am getting the engagement that I'm hoping to get. I've told you before, it's important that you know that data. I didn't have a clue who was watching or videos that I would add in there and embeds or click links. I would have no clue. I do know that people would ask for the audiobooks. They would ask for the giveaways. Um, I gave away a couple of necklaces last year. Um, you know, I did some things like that that went along with my book. But 
I just don't know really what my percentages were, what my rates were. And I would love to have more than 10 percent like clicking. That would be amazing. Um, I know you guys, I would love to have 100 percent click. But, you know, the busy world that we live in, if I could just get like 10 percent, you know, I would be happy. Um, and so I want to show you guys now what I'm using. And I didn't have a clue about this until I signed up for one of my favorite author tubes newsletters. And I signed up for her newsletter. So you guys already know how you can sign up for my newsletter. I already showed you guys how to do it. You go to my jenlowrywrites.com and you just go ahead and populate that news email in there. And I'm going to put it into my Google Sheet and I'm going to share it out to you in my Wix shout out. Um, so I want to show you guys, this is actually what it looks like when it comes into, this is my test. This is my Wix. It's a send by Wix. I am going to upgrade, just let you guys know. But you see my brand colors right away. You see that I actually used one of the banners, the thumbnails that I made on Canva. And I just think it's such a pretty banner. And I was like, you know what? I want to use that one. Not necessarily any particular thing about let's talk pen names, other than when people see that, they know kind of like what my business is like. Um, oh, my baby just went live. Look at that. My baby just went live. I got a notification. Um, so the, I'm going live. Yep, this old gal's on Twitch. Now, y'all, I am a conversationalist. I am not any kind of formal. So people in my newsletter, if they're expecting something formal, then it's not happening. And so here you go. I'm talking about why I love Twitch, why I actually am having fun on this platform. I tell them, look, I'm on the 28th, I'm going to be 45. Don't let people tell you you're too old to do something. If you want to be on Twitch, if you want to be on YouTube, if you want to build your author platform, there is no age requirement here. Go after it. Learn how to do things. Use these free sites like I'm using until you get a huge name for yourself and you can go out and buy fancy marketing campaigns. But right now, I'm extremely satisfied, extremely satisfied with this. So people can click here and they can go subscribe to my Twitch channel. So I was looking at my data today love Twitch so much. And I had 83% of my Twitch followers were actually clicking on to be notified. And so if you have not clicked to be notified, that lets you know when I'm going live, just like I just got that ding on my phone. I have the Twitch app too. Um, and then you don't want to miss my next party. I'm having a digital vision board for authors. This is going to be for anyone. Um, so celebrate with me. I'm going to be Friday night at 7 p.m. I'm going to be right here on Twitch. Here's the writing conference. Here's our lovely sponsors. And then people can click here and go get a free ticket. And then I have a video of my sweet potato Jones. And they can watch the video and it's just little swirlies. I made it on Canva. And if they want to pre-order, it pops them there. So you can see that I'm not putting like my pre-order and sweet potato all the way at the top. Because this one is about me talking about new platform for me. I would love to meet you there. This can help me connect with my readers right here on Twitch. And so I'm really excited about the click rate on this one. And I'm really hoping that people will find me here. And then we can talk, talk books and the author life. And I can help teach them what I'm doing. And I can help motivate people. And so do you see the difference in this newsletter and those books I was sending out before, those 12-page magazines? <laughs> and so this one is one topic. And it's talking about why you can subscribe. I'm going to have a Twitch party in pajamas. I'm always in pajamas. And I do have to put a plug in for the conference and sweet potato at the very bottom.
because I do want people to come to our WWJ conference, which is also going to be on Twitch. So here I am again. This whole thing is about Twitch. And it makes sense to me. It's so streamlined now. I get it. Before, I just really wanted to share tons of things. Now I understand the purpose of the newsletter. And I hope that you have better clarity now that I've shown you my mess ups. And you know what? I can't really just say, you know, it was like the worst thing ever. It just wasn't the smartest move for me. Not only did it take tons of time. You know, I didn't even know if people were looking at it or not. Whereas now with Wix shout out, I can actually see the click rates. I can I can see. Now, there's something else I love about Wix shout out. Now, I'm going to share this with you guys because. Some people might have a different opinion about this. OK, so. I'm going to share my opinion and I'd love to hear what you think about it. If you say no, Jennifer, that's the point of it being exclusive. OK, so here's the thing. What makes it any different if I'm sharing my newsletter out like right now than somebody getting it in their inbox? Well, if the person gets it into their inbox, then that means that throughout the month when I have raffles, when I have drawings for things, their name goes into those raffles. Right. It means that they're automatically going to get a freebie from me. So if they're not in that email list with me, they don't get into the raffles. They don't get into these giveaways. And so the giveaways to me are that added bonus if people sign up to my newsletter. That's what I told them anyway, right? And so that's what I do. And I love it so much. Like I'll get an email and somebody will say, oh my gosh, I haven't won anything in so long. I can't wait. Can I please give this code away to somebody that I know who loves audiobooks? Of course you can. You can give a gift of books to someone. And so even if they don't read the audiobook and they give that book away to someone else, then I'm bringing someone else my book. And I'm excited to do that. And you can partner with other authors, too. So a tip is for you to go out and find other authors that could do some giveaways with you. And you can say, look, you I want to promote you. I want to share out. You have any give, giveaways? Um, I actually did this on another uh, with another author. She emailed me. She wanted me on her um, Halloween list because she knows how much Halloween I love Halloween. So she wanted to spotlight me for Halloween, which was super cool. She was like, can you give us some stuff so we can give it away to our readers? Uh, yes, I can. Love to do that. And thank you for having me on your blog and so and on your newsletter. And so you can do a lot of things with newsletters like that. You can get really creative, but it doesn't need to be a book. I mean, I learned. Right. I was trying. I mean, you can give me some props for trying. That's one thing about me. I'll try some things like I tried the GoDaddy marketing and then I moved to Canva just because I feel comfortable Canva wise. That's just a good space for me. I feel very creative when I'm on there and I, you know, I can get lost in that place. I love Canva so much. And so that's what I was using. And I'm going to tell you how I found out about Week Shout Out. I signed up for Bethany Adizadas, like I told you, her YouTube, author tube. I really like watching her. And so she had signed up for my newsletter and I clicked it because um, I like to get updates. And sure enough, at the bottom of it, I was scrolling. I loved the format of it. I was like, oh, this is the coolest thing. What is she using? What did she do to make this with? Is it Word? Is it micro? What is this? Go all the way down to the bottom and it's made with a send week shout out. And I'm like, oh, let's Google this thing. Let's do that. I love it that I was able to see that it was powered by a company because that way I could go out and learn it myself. And the minute that I made my first shout out was the minute I was hooked. And I have been using shout outs for months now and absolutely love it. Last month, I sent out some of my illustrations. Uh, to people. So uh, hopefully that they like that. But I just know that it's important to have a newsletter and it's important to continue to try to gain traction on your email list. And so how can you do that? Number one, make the pop up. Number two, actually tell people, hey, I'd love it if you could subscribe to my newsletter. 
click here, guys. You might have to say it more than once, and that's okay. You can put it up on a Twitter post about you're trying to build your email list. You're this type of author. People are following you in the writing community over there. They may want to be on your newsletter. They might like the genre that you're writing. You can create an image in Canva. You know, click the link in the bio, put it on Twitter. I mean, put it on Instagram. Click the link to go to my website and sign up for my newsletter. And sign up for freebies and giveaways. Um, you can do that and put it on Instagram, put it on Pinterest, LinkedIn. But you might have to do it more than one time. OK, and people sign up or they don't. But what I like about Wix shout out, and this is where I can get the why are you doing this, is I take the link and I actually put the link out there myself. So I'm going to show you, like, go to my Twitter. Um, if, if let me see. So. Where am I at? Where's my profile? OK, on my Twitter, you can see that banner, right? That's that same Twitch banner that I used for my thumbnail. I used it in the newsletter. My author newsletter is out today and I tagged the writing community and I, I gave my shout out Wix link. So when you finish with your newsletter and you send it all out to your email to subscribers, right? You can then share it out, Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter. Then you can copy the link. So I copy that link. I paste it in a Google Doc that has a list of my newsletters by the month. So that link is easy for me to go back and find. I don't even have to pull up with shout out, even though it's just right up there in the top. But I keep it and I populate those. And then I have my links really quick. I also take a, a picture of it and I then go and I put it over into my website so people can click in and get my newsletters. They're not going to get the freebies. They're not going to get the giveaways, none of that. But they can still get the content. Because the bottom line is that I would love for people to have the content and know that I'm out there, that I'm working this author life, that I do want to make connections with readers and writers. That's what it's all about. The content matters to me. And so when people say, well, Jennifer, you shouldn't share it to your Jen Lowry author page. Well, not only did I share it there, I shared it at my Everyday Mom Challenge page. I shared it at my personal page. Like, hey, guys, here's my author newsletter. If anybody wants to check it out. And I clicked it. I got some subscriber rates that way last time. Um, and I will tell you, I don't, I mean, I like to go back to the Wix shout out dashboard because it tells me how many people clicked it. It shows me my list of my email people. That's why I'm not pulling that, that one up. But it shows me like my click rate. So, for example, I, I don't even know what time it went live because I've scheduled these things. Um, but it was sometime today. I went back and I looked at the dashboard and I already had a 5% open rate and I just sent it out. And so I was like, oh, that's positive because that means this could be a possibly good time for me to ship out that. So, you know, what are my click rates at different times? I'm even looking at that. Like even with my blog posts, I look at things like that. When am I getting my most hits? Like one o'clock is a good time for me for some reason. Um, and so scheduling my blog post to go out like at one o'clock. Um, so I also put it on my blog because I got tons of people that follow my blog. So if I've got 7,000 people close to that, close to 7,000 following my blog, I think it's important that if I'm sending out a newsletter, I continuously think of that, that people, that people group over there. I need to think about my blog people because they are following me for my content and the stuff that I put in there. Do I need to just go out? Uh, I'm going to have to. Uh, sweet student, August 18th. I'll get you a signed copy.
Okay. Um, sorry, work. <laughs> One of my students is congratulating me. Oh, of course, of course. Okay, so back to what I was saying. Hmm, I lost my train of thought. Let's see. I'm so excited for sweet potato. Um, but I'm putting it up on my blog. That's what I was talking about. I'm putting up the link, the shout out link. Because the content's what matters. And do I have to repurpose it? No, I don't have to. I don't have to sit there and copy the box, paste it into a Word, WordPress. Why don't I just share the, the Wix shout out? Because there's something about me that you guys know. I'm a, I'm a teacher at heart. And so I want to share what I'm using. And if somebody else likes Wix shout out, they may say, gosh, Jennifer, thank you so much for showing me how easy it was to do one. Um, if you guys want to do like a step-by-step -step tutorial, I can do that too. I can look. I can look tomorrow. I have to contact. Okay. Um, Okay. Um, but I like to be transparent about the things that I'm using. So now you can have something else that you can look forward to. If you like Canva and you would just make the really short one page, two page thing, you love Canva, use that as your newsletter. You don't have to write a book unless you do want to send your people a magazine. Um, send them a magazine, whatever you want to do. Um, but on my blog, I actually put the link and then I told people why. So I actually told people why I liked with shout out. Okay. And blog post. Let's say like seven reasons are my top five or how to. I get a lot of hits on those. I love my poetry post. I get tons. I think my poetry is my number one on my blog. My how to's are my number ones on my YouTube because a lot of people like to watch my tutorials. But when I'm on my blog, like I'll give editing tips. I'll give passive versus um, active voice. People are looking at that stuff. So I know that this is a good title for me. So I needed to say, look, I'm going to talk about author newsletters today. Why don't I go ahead and kind of prepare myself for some of the reasons? And look, click here to access my author newsletter. And so all they have to do is click here and they can have it. Um, and then I come down and I give them what's up with the newsletter. You know, why should they have a newsletter? You know, what is my newsletter about? And then I give the top seven reasons why I love Wix the best. You know, it's easy. It shows right up in the email message. I was using those PDF attachments before. My One of my favorites is I can track and progress monitor. Love that. Um. It stores my subscriber emails and with check boxes going down, I've got them categorized. 
It's so easy for me to just click them all and then they pop in there and then I can add new recipients. Like I just had to add 10 new recipients in today. Um, Okay, and then I love it that I can send a test email to myself because, guys, I mess up and I like to see it, like how people are going to be viewing it and how does it look? Is it streamlined? Does it look clean? Is the content clear? Did I do a good job at connecting the messages together? And then I love how I can share everywhere because I do believe that that's a great way for me to maximize my reach. and. I'm sharing out a template of something that I love and it's given authors a new tool. So that's a part of my platform anyway. And another thing I love about it is that it's free for me right now. But when I hit that um, send out limit, I am going to upgrade. But I haven't hit that yet. I'm getting close, but I haven't hit that yet. And it's because I'm getting more and more subscribers, which is not a bad thing. But then I'm going to upgrade the plans. And so I would suggest that you go online and you look at Wix shout out and learn the ins and outs of it. So I hope that this has been helpful to you guys. Um, oh, I thought I was screen sharing that whole time. <laughs> I was showing you guys my blog. Lordy, did not mean that. I was showing you how. I had the blog. Oh, I'm going to show you again. <laughs> hey, that's funny. So on my blog, seven reasons why I love Wix shout out for author newsletters. And I added the seven reasons. Okay. And now I don't have to share my screen. Well, while I'm here. Look, guys, Writing Warriors for Jesus. You guys can follow me at Jesus Writing. This is my Facebook. Um, not only can you type in at Jesus Writing and get us here on Facebook and follow the page for all the updates, but you can go to Twitter at Jesus Writing. But I'm going to be honest. I talk to people like, where do you live the most? I personally am going to be right here on Facebook um, more, I think, adding in. Like, look, you can click here and follow her on Twitter. We've got, um, I'm posting up all of these. There's Riley Cross. She's going to be one of our presenters. Oh, there's Allison. And you can just keep going and going. And you can go to um, this. You can go to the at Jesus writing and you will be able to find us there. And you can um, also go to Eventbrite and get your tickets. And after I sent out that newsletter, we got more tickets. The tickets are free, but if people sign up, then that populates an email that allows us to do the raffles. And we've got the sponsorships to allow us to have free giveaways, coupon codes for you guys to get discounts. Um, we're giving away three, three um, year subscriptions to Pro Writing Aid, which are like $79 a piece, um, thanks to the Pro Writing Aid sponsorship. So I really hope that, you know, that grows too. So you can see what I've been up to. Um, so what would you put in the content? You would put up the things that's happening in your author life. So if you say, well, I don't really have a lot going on. I'm not really an author yet. What can I put in my newsletter? Um, there's tons of things you could talk about the daily life of J Jen Lowry. What does that look like? Um, you could say, oh, I'm having this contest. I would love for your family to 
um, submit their favorite drawing or their favorite whatever in the genre because your readers, if you write, okay, for example, if you're writing sci fi and that's going to be your newsletter and it's all about sci fi, I think you have it a lot easier than me. Because for me, I'm a multi genreist and I've got readers all over different types of spectrums. You know, I've got picture books all the way to sweet romance for adults. And then I've got middle grades and YA. And so I have to be really kind of generic in mine. Whereas if you have a particular target population and you know that this is your niche and this is what you're writing in or this is what you're providing as content for your people, whether it's gaming or author, illustrator or marketing or whatever it is, as business practices, then your newsletter can be tailored and streamlined with the content that can be of value to your readers. And so for me, I'm just about connecting with people and sharing out tips. So I'm like, okay, I'm doing a how-to party and you guys are welcome to come and make vision boards with me because maybe readers would want to do that. My author friends are already signing up on Facebook on my event page at the Jen Lowry author page. Um, but they know I'm going to be here on Twitch. And so they're like, okay, we're going to go on over. We're going to make a Twitch account. I'm like, yes, do it. You can do this. Um, and so, you know, it's easy to make, you know, all of your materials you see. I did have my um, my logos up here. I had stuff up here that I have been working on today, too. Um, like I am all about working each day for goals to how to improve not only my author craft and my writing, but how can I also help with my platform? And newsletters are a great way that can help me connect with readers and then it can help readers know where to find me. And I don't want it to be just like a one and done. I don't want somebody, I mean, of course, I want somebody to read my book and love it, right? But I also want the people to say, oh, I read her book. I loved it. She's got 19 more. <laughs> I might want to check another one of her books out, but I might also want to be an author myself. So I might want to learn from her because I really liked her authentic voice and her Southern style. And I write like that too. And so maybe I can connect with them. And so knowing that I do both of these things and I'm an author and I'm a writing coach, I think that that opens up for people when they do find me, they could come at me and access me at different points of their life or their career or, or wherever they are. And it could be a teacher just wanting to get the Raptor Revolution resources, you know, whatever it may be. They know that I'm out here and they know that I'm working and that I'm continuing to grow. And I think that all the mistakes that I make, and I'm very thankful that I have made some because you guys get to learn from them and you don't get to do them. <laughs> So I've hit my one hour stream. Listen, you can go right now to YouTube and you can type in email marketing campaigns, how to grow a newsletter. You can do what platforms to use to to funnel. You know, there are so many funneling places out there. You can put how to install a pop up on your website. So if you've got um, Wix, or if you've got GoDaddy like me, or if you've got WordPress or Squarespace, you can watch tutorial videos on how to add pop-ups. I would suggest that you start with a great landing page, get yourself a pop-up, but go ahead and create something that you can give to someone when they sign up. So like I said, if you're a business person that's very narrowed, you know exactly what you could give to your reader to make them engaged with a product, with your business. You could give them a checklist. You could give them tips. You can give them like a little mini PDF book. The same stuff that I make for my webinars. If you guys have not been to my webinars, um, I did a, a live stream the other night when I was talking about that. And I even did reflections on my podcast about the webinars. They're going really great. But my first webinar, I didn't give them anything. Now I'm making them journaling guides. And so I love that I'm able to do that. Right now I'm working on a calendar. And you know what? It's not just going to be a digital calendar for me. I'm going to give that digital calendar away 
And so how can I do that to help support other people with their organization and get them on point? And it could be from their favorite author or it could be from someone that they love in the author community. And they say, hey, this is can help. This part can help me with my um, my writing. It can keep me going and I can celebrate and reflect. And I love these questions for reflection. So I don't know if you guys have seen that video that I made where I showed little snippets of my calendar to people. I'm building that calendar and I've already shared it out with my Patreon group but I'm definitely going to be using it as giveaways in the future. So that's just a way that when you're making things for yourself, you can repurpose them and you can give them away as freebies on your site. I wouldn't charge people for the calendar anyway. In fact, I'm going to put it on Teachers Pay Teachers so I can also have it there as a free digital download for all my educator people. And it's a Christian calendar. So it's got Bible verses in it. It's got our WWJs in it. And so private schools and homeschools could use it definitely, but I'm going to have that available and I'm going to have it as a freebie that I can give away to my newsletter people for next month. But I want to run the calendar first myself. I actually want to practice and live within this digital calendar for the month of June. I've never done anything like this. And I'm a reflective practitioner. So I'm going to reflect over that digital calendar, but that is going to be one of my giveaways, one of my freebies that I'm going to offer people when they sign up for my newsletter. And if they've already signed up for my newsletter, they're going to get the link to make a, um, a digital copy. You can force a copy into a Google Doc or a Google Slide by just changing the last words edit into copy. And you can force that person to make a copy. So that way, when you're sending out a mass Google Doc for somebody for free, you know, you can use that tool to help you where they can click and link and then they can edit themselves. Or like I've shown you for tons of days, using Canva is a great place for you to create those PDF files. That's what I use for my journals. So and for my teacher guides, all my teacher guides are on Canva. I use those um, to help me craft the, um, the companion guides for my books. And so those are already giveaways on my website. So just always thinking of creative new ways that you can continue to engage with your readers. And that's what I'm doing right now with the calendar. And of course, there's going to already be a little box marked out for August 22nd because that's the day of the WWJ's free writing conference. And so I'm going to add some little things in there as well. Okay. She said text when you're on your break. But um, so, all right, guys, I've reached an hour. I hope that you guys have a blessed day. And if you've got any future topics that you would like for me to share about, please reach out to me. Um, I asked this question on Twitter this morning and the response was, can you talk about newsletters? And as you guys know, I have my future episodes list right here beside me. And that one was on there. So I'm really glad that another author reached out and said, can you share about newsletters and email list? And so that's what I worked on today. So I could show you guys the samples. So it was really good for me, too, because I always make one in the middle of the month. And so I just already got that checked off from the box for me that I was able to send that out earlier like than the 15th. I usually like to send them out on a Saturday just because that's when I have some sustained time to work on them. But now that I've got Wix shout out figured out and it only takes me like 10 minutes to make a newsletter, I did it super fast today. So I would be able to share with you guys all of those screens and let you see the benefits of just using that platform. But there are tons, like I said, so go out and do your research. Just type in, you know, all of these great topics in YouTube and you will find the answers that you're seeking and then go try them out. Then if you fail miserably like I did for the first three or four times, OK, each time you do it, be reflective. Though. What can you learn from it? What are your takeaways? And then what can you look at all those mistakes that I showed you, all the models that I had? What could you learn from that? I know what I learned from it. Not to give so much in a newsletter, make it short, sweet, to the point, make it content, you know, make it very content specific. Like this whole newsletter was about Twitch and what we were doing on Twitch. 
and then make it a way for people to take that newsletter and bounce off if they would like to. So they could click out and get a conference. They could click out and subscribe to me on Twitch. They could see that I'm having the party. They know that there's something coming up. So I'm really glad that I did it today because the party's tomorrow night. That gives me an opportunity to let my readers and my writer friends know, hey, we could celebrate together online at seven o'clock on Twitch. And so I'm really glad that, you know, that question came up. I can say that's a Holy Spirit nudge. And that allowed me to just go ahead and do what I needed to do that was already on my radar to do. And then I could answer questions. I got a blog post out of it, too. Um, I got to make this stream from it as well. So I could share everything with you guys. So uh, continue to do your research. Please research. Just connect. Contact other authors, other friends, other creative artists. See what they're using. What would they recommend? And then have the courage to go after it and set it all up. And you can do it for free like I'm doing. Or if you have a budget, you can start building plans. And I just hope that you have a, a great day. And I'll talk to you guys later.